A local man spent 48 days in the intensive care unit at the Jewish hospital Mercy Health. After being diagnosed with the coronavirus, now he wants others to know a common treatment not available in every hospital may have made all the difference in saving his life. Medical reporter Liz Bonas shares how this high tech help led to COVID-19 recovery. It's hard to believe now when you see Dan Pilder leaving this Ohio hospital. But just about six weeks ago, he was at home with his family when they called 911 and uh, when I got there, they said my oxygen level was down to 40 percent. So they uh, took me to the hospital and everything went from there. As with others who are diagnosed with this COVID-19 coronavirus and in severe respiratory distress, Pilder's medical team tried the drug to treat malaria called hydroxychloroquine. They tried the antiviral medicine remdesivir and they put Pilder on a ventilator. And we proned him, we paralyzed him, uh, and he kept requiring more and more oxygen. Uh, so we, we thought like that is the best time to put him on ECMO uh, before losing that window. An ECMO is a machine that looks like this. It is used for what's called extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. The machine is similar to a heart-lung bypass machine used in open heart surgery. So imagine like half of your blood goes through that filter every minute. Pilder wasn't alert the whole time this was all happening, but he now knows. I understand that there were a number of times where he said things didn't go so well yesterday, just need to be prepared for the worst. But the worst didn't happen. Instead, Pilder began to recover, according to Dr. Mudar al Shatir, a pulmonary and critical care specialist. So he feels like if he had not been with a team that had your skills, he would not have survived. How do you feel about that? In, in his case, I believe if we haven't used the ECMO, he wouldn't be with us now. I feel very grateful and really still pretty much emotionally overwhelmed. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus reporting. ECMO teams are highly skilled and need to know how to manage serious complications. Dan says that he is grateful that the team there at Jewish Hospital Mercy West had one available and knew the right time to use it.